Hi everyone, my name is Carrie. Um, this is my first video where I'm actually going to talk about a mini that I've done. Um, I'm going to have to go really quick because I don't have like the proper camera set up and I, I don't have a video recorder so I'm actually using my digital camera so I don't know how much time for this um, I have for this but um, I will try to go through it as fast as I can and just give you um, a little bit of information about it. Um, first of all, I love everything Paris, Parisian, Eiffel Tower, um, Fleur de Lis, uh, Champs de Lycée, you name it, I love it. And um, so that's kind of what inspired this album. The second I saw this, um, the paper collection I used was um, Graphic 45's Curtain Call. And there's actually some just random papers thrown out too that I kind of thought that um, matched it. But I saw it was this image here and I just knew it, I had to do this. And... Um, Plus, I love everything vintage, browns, things that look worn, um, dirty, rustic, and so this was just totally right up my alley. So, um, just really quickly, um, I did um, a self-binding, if you notice there's no um, rings over here on this side. I just did a self-binding here. Um, it took some practice, um, but I think I got it this time. I need to, I don't need to leave as much space, I think, next time, but um, trial and error. Um, let's see, I just, like I said, I binded it myself, um, just a couple of charms here on the side. Um, this Eiffel Tower actually is from Paris. I'm a teacher and one of my students went, um, about four or five years ago and brought it back for me. So, um, I love it. And anyway, on the front here, um, just all of the roses that I used, all of the flowers are all from I Am Roses. Um, this is one of the, uh, frames from Michael's, um, the dollar fifty bin. Um, I used here my closure is um, a Zutter closure. It's called here it is right here Zutter Perfect Closure. So it looked like this, um, and then I just um, stamped it here. Just kind of made it rustic and look like worn leather. So it was really nice. So it just kind of opens up like this. Then just on the inside, like I said, all the paper, most of the paper is the curtain call. Uh, from Graphic 45, just a pocket with some tags here. Just did some stamping, just a little trim. Um, the trim I've gotten is from um, either Carla S001, her Etsy store, or from Suha Fuha from her Zibit store. Um, and I'll put some of those links down below in the description box of some of the things that I used. Um, just did a little flip book here. Little flip book there. Recollections Butterfly. Over here on this side. Um, this one, I just re got the um, Zutter, it's called Distress It All. It's this little pink machine that you hold in your hand and it kind of tears and rips up the edges like this and distresses them. And I love it. Uh, I, I'm obsessed with this machine now and I want to use it for everything. So um, I just thought that this page was just enough and it looked great by itself. Um, I Am Rose's spray and then I just added some of these little pearls here um, by itself. If you could see that. And then um, some boa. Over on this side. Um, this um, Bliss thing right here, um, it's Can Company, and I just found it in a big package, and it's just um, just a whole bunch of words or like um, garden shapes and butterflies, and then I just attached the black um, cardstock behind it so that I could make a pocket out of it, and again some of that trim from uh, Suha Fuha. Um, then I'm yeah these big tags and just kind of stamp the back a little bit. Again, all I am roses here. This side, um, again, I just made just some little a little flip book here. We love sports. Actually, I love sports, and my boyfriend has come to love sports um, since we've been together. So, um, this I just decided to do this all sports pictures. Then it's just some some tags in the back. This was my favorite um, paper out of that uh, Graphic Forty Five curtain call. I just loved it. Over here on this side, um, I got this trim. This is the Carla S001 um, Etsy. Um, her, I got this burlap from her store. And I knew I wanted to use it in here. I didn't know how or what I was going to do. So I just literally threw it on the page. And it kind of ended up working out for me. 
Um, I think, and I, this is just a wood piece from Michael's. It was just a regular, actually it was pink. It was pink and purple. And I painted it um, black. And then just kind of distressed the edges a little bit. I think it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Then I just made a little book. Let me show you. Here, it just kind of opens up like that. Just a little book. And then my problem was when I was putting it in here, it kept sliding through this way. Like, I, I didn't even think about it. And so, um, at the last minute, I threw some uh, roses here and um, some bling. And it just kind of makes it, keeps it, um, stops it right there so it doesn't fall out. Then these two pages, the last two pages, um, I kind of made them very similar. Um, I wanted to make, um, I knew I wanted to make some more pocket pages just in case I had more pictures to add later. So on this side, um, I just made a tag, a pocket, and then a tag back here. Let's see. I think I put it, yeah, I put a picture on the other side as well. And again, there's that paper. I love it. Um, this is a Recollections flower. Uh, Jenny Bowlin butterfly. I love her butterflies. Um, and then these are just some cutouts uh, from the paper line. I fussy cut them out. They came in um, strips like this. And I just cut them out. Then on this side, Again, just another pocket, um, one of those Recollections butterflies, some more tags, I haven't really done anything to that one. This is actually the curtain call uh, Communique, and uh, so I thought it, it matched it really well also. And then here's another tag, I made this a giant one. We just went to San Francisco not too long ago, so I'm going to do that. And then... Um, this little bingo card, I, I got it at the Scrapbook Expo two years ago, and I can't remember who makes these, but I just kind of thought it went with the whole love couples theme. And then again, I did all the pictures, if you noticed, in the sepia tone, because I just thought it matched the theme of my album the best. So um, I really liked how that turned out. Then on the back, really quickly, um, this was another one of my um, favorite pieces of paper, and I didn't want to touch it, I didn't want to do anything with it, so I thought, let's just put it on the back. And um, that way I'm not covering it up with anything. Then I just put a little trim here. I, I need to put, I'm going to put some flat back uh, pearls. Um, I just haven't gotten them yet. So, well, I hope you like my album. And um, hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos. Like I said, I don't have the right setup. And I'm not really, really sure how to do this. So, um... Hopefully I can learn some more from you ladies, and I'll be asking you more questions as far as how you videotape. Um, please leave me a comment if you like my album or if you have any questions, and like I said, I'll leave some um, comments, or excuse me, some um, information in the co comment section below so that you can, um, so that you know the different brands that I used. Thank you, bye-bye.